wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. All right, thanks everyone for coming out uh, for our first annual Blue Water Baptist Carol Sing. Happy that everyone made it. Uh, ben and Austin quit hitting each other. Now, here's the thing, before we get started, uh, I've just been reading all the lyrics, kind of going over them, and there's really a lot of stuff that we sing that doesn't make a lot of sense. We're like Christmas zombies. We just sing it because we've always sang it, but I, I got questions and concerns, and so as we carol, uh, I'm just gonna ask some questions. If you guys can help me out, uh, Neil in the back, I'm gonna be looking for your input, and uh, that would be great. I really appreciate you guys. So, little drummer boy, let me get this straight. Joseph and Mary just had a baby in a barn, the most unhygienic, unsanitary place surrounded by livestock and manure. The baby is sleeping comfortably on a bed of straw and hay and uh, some kid shows up with a drum and he's gonna start banging on that thing to put the baby to sleep. I don't think so. How about you take your drum, go play for King Herod or something, okay? Okay, so I saw three ships of sailing. Number one, not in the gospel. Number two, it's like they didn't have anything else to write a Christmas song about, right? They're at the Christmas songwriting convention. Okay, we've written about trees, we've written about snow, we've written about angels. We got nothing. And one guy says, you know what? I saw three boats in the harbor. How about that? You're on. Let's put some Christmas music to it, and that's good. And besides, when you look at the lyrics, what does it say? Who was in the ships? Um, Mary and Jesus were in the three ships. So there's two people in three ships, and again, there were no boats in the manger scene. The next song is gonna be, Oh Christmas Tree. Quick question, are we actually singing a song to the tree? We're pretending the tree is alive, or we think the tree is alive, and we're, we're actually singing a song to that tree? Is that perhaps idol worship? Maybe. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Excellent job so far singing. Val, you've got a great voice. Tim, maybe just tone yours down a little bit. Um, joy to the world, a, a real question that I've struggled with for a long time is how do you pronounce heaven without the vowels? All right, heaven, heaven. Like, are we, are we cramming so many vowels, so many syllables into a song that we have to start cutting things out that are important? So we, instead of singing heaven, we have to sing heaven, 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 heaven. I don't, I can't say that and I don't feel like I'm in the Christmas spirit if I can't do it right. Jingle bells, I, I got questions and problems with jingle bells, okay? First of all, it's a one horse open sleigh, all right? A one-horse sleigh that is open to the cold of winter. It's basically the coldest, slowest way to get from point A to point B. And you think by the time you get to point B, you're gonna be in a Christmas spirit? I think you're probably not gonna survive the trip, all right? And you're gonna be frozen solid and you're gonna miss out on everything. Okay, everyone, that's it. We've done our rounds, we've sung all the songs. Uh, you guys did a really good job. Not sure why Fraser couldn't have made it out on a freezing cold night to sing songs to strangers in their own homes as we trudge the streets, but uh, maybe next year we'll get him out and Charmaine as well. Thank you all for coming. Stan, thank you, and we'll talk to you later.